Hello, I thought I would give you a quick run through of a book I just finished. This is actually um, a book for my aunt who asked me to make uh, a mini album for her because she has two dogs and she wanted to, to display some pictures. Um, this isn't my idea for the album. Uh, it was kind of nice just to have a no brainer and use somebody else's uh, ideas. The uh, description box will have the name of the person that uh, I looked at her YouTube channel for the uh, ideas. I changed the measurements and there was a page I changed, but overall this was someone else's design. Uh, this book is five by eight and a half with a two inch spine. And the paper is from Country Craft Creations. It's a doodle bug collection called Dog on Cute. Um, I usually don't work with paper like this and I don't have a single flower on the cover, so that's weird for me. Uh, this cover is so plain to me, but I'm hoping that she'll like it. Um, I'm an anticipating she'll put a picture of her dogs here. <clears throat> and if need be, I can go back and add something on the cover if she wants to give it some pizzazz. So, okay, so let's just do a quick run through. Uh, we have a waterfall on the left-hand cover. It's a tie closure. I left all the backs empty, but I did cover the front of all the pages. And um, these measure four by five, I believe, uh, with a tie closure here. And then the back cover is going to mimic the same thing, only it's going to open on uh, the other direction. So waterfall, I like to do those just because you get a lot of bang for your buck. A lot of uh, room for pictures. So we have a pocket here. Uh, this is just uh, a place for her to put a picture and it keeps this flap down. This comes out so she can put a picture in there and not waste any space. This is for a picture or journaling, whatever. I don't know if she wants to journal. Uh, picture can go here. All right. We have a flip page, just different. Um, this is a magnetic closure. I think it's like three different pages. Let's take a look. So pictures, used a lot of the ephemera. It comes with a lot when you buy the ephemera packages separate. There's a lot of stuff in there. I love my dog. Left this little pocket for these little pieces of ephemera. Everything that is has a mat, I left open the on the ephemera so that you could tuck underneath pocket with some tags, another place for a photo. Okay, we have a triangular um, flap up and down, tie closure, and then I just put three mats inside with some of my leftover paper, so the measurements of the mats are, they are just a variety. Put a little dog print there from the ephemera package. Something's getting stuck on here. What is it? Uh, we have a belly band. Just put a simple mat. We have a cutout or cut apart here. I've made uh, a lot of these. I kind of like this style. I have it on a couple of the albums I've made. Um, but you just have two flaps that go up. I have my pocket here with some tags from the collection, but then the angled pockets in the corner, you just put this mat in it to keep it closed. On the back, uh, I just did a double pocket. I don't know how much room she's gonna need for pictures. She actually said she only needed like 12, I think, but this has way more than 12. I uh, just put some of the cutouts in the pockets so there's four of them in there. And then the back cover is exactly like the front cover. Um, there's seven uh, waterfall pieces decorated just on the front or paper just on the front. I just decorated the very top piece and then a ribbon closure. So I'm giving her this um, for her pictures and I have something else from Doodlebug that I made that I'm gonna give her too. Um, but I just thought I would share that with you so you could see the paper collection from Country Craft Creations. Um, not my usual style, but I think it turned out really super cute. You really can't go wrong. Doodlebug is cute and it has a lot of things you can add for decorations. Even though it's flat and I usually like little dimension, this turned out really cute. So, all right, go check out Country Craft Creations. You guys, they have a bunch of Doodlebug stuff now.